حسام زيتون Validity of multi-spectral and geography in differentiating benign and malignant pillory obstruction. Obstructive jaundice is a common surgical problem that happens when there is a blockage to passage of conjugated bilirubin to the cells to intestine. This can lead uh, to life-threatening complications such as ascending cholangitis, malabsorption, and hepatorenal syndrome. Ultrasound is the initial imaging technique as a non-invasive cost-effective modality for evaluating the biliary obstruction but of low sensitivity and specificity uh, with limited value in evaluation of the peripheral intrahepatic lactal lesion. MRCD is considered the most reliable non-invasive technique that produces high contrast and high resolution image of biliary uh, tree and allow evaluation of the solid organ. However, contraindication include patients with cardiac pacemakers, cerebral aneurysm, clips, claustrophobia, added to the high cost and uh, not readily available. Direct cholangiography such as VTC or ARCB are still used as uh, they are a gold standard technique because they allow both direct visualization of uh, uh, the biliary tree and the therapeutic intervention, but they are invasive procedure and they carry associated risk that range in severity from minor to right threatening complication. Recently, in the last decades, multi CT has led uh, to acquisition of true isotropic voxel that can be post-processed to yield images in any planes of the same resolution as the originally axially acquired images. The combined use of multiple random reformation and the minimum intensity projection techniques significantly improve the visualization of the billet uh, ducts and their site of confluence compared with those obtained by axial image. Moreover, minimum intensity projection techniques enable us to uh, depict the small billet uh, duct and the pancreatic duct more clearly. Multi-spectral CT cholangiography has a vital role as post-processing technique can uh, be utilized to identify variant of biliary anatomy to guide preoperative planning of uh, uh, biliary uh, related surgery, determine the level and the cause of uh, biliary obstruction, early tumor detection and staging of uh, biliary cancer as the uh, key factor for a possible cure by surgical resection. The aim of this work to, uh, was to evaluate the validity of multi-spectral CT cholangiography in differentiating benign and malignant biliary obstruction. All cases with clinical suspected biliary obstruction and the abdominal ultrasound revealed any degree of biliary obstruction were included, uh, as well as the patient with elevated uh, indirect bilirubin uh, or alkaline phosphatase enzyme. While uh, cases of uh, contraindication to contrast injection and uh, patients with uh, elevated uh, renal function not open, uh, on dialysis, pregnant females and morbid obesity were excluded. Uh, Multivectoral CT cholangiography uh, was done by Telis machine uh, 128. Uh, these are the scanning parameters we used. And uh, contrast injection uh, was done via an automatic injector. Uh, fasting for six hour prior scanning and vigorous oral hydration. Uh, oral contrast uh, media uh, were used if needed and the intravenous catheter uh, uh, was introduced and uh, renal function were checked before uh, injection. Patient lies fine, head ferrets, the scanning begins from the lung basis down to the pelvic inlet during uh, suspected, pelvic uh, suspended complete expiration or complete inspiration. Uh, non contrast phase to make a baseline uh, for uh, deciding whether an uh, identifiable lesion enhance and help identify biliary stones or pancreatic calcification. Uh, contrast enhanced phases uh, include arterial, portovenous, and delayed phase. Uh, both processing techniques, uh, such technical development, permit the thinner slices to be gained in a shorter scan period with good patient agreement and lower motion aspects. Uh, our finding in multi spectral CT cholangiography were correlated with the operative uh, ERCD or BTC uh, data in benign structure, malignant, and uh, calcular obstruction, uh, as well as biopsy and histopathology in malignant causes. Our cross sectional prospective study includes 69 patients. More than one clinical presentation were found in the same patient. The most affected age group was 60 to less than 70 years. Uh, biliary uh, dilatation of mild degree was the most observed finding, while uh, the distal obstruction was the most observed level. Uh, regarding the cause of uh, uh, biliary obstruction, malignant causes were more than uh, benign causes. 
فكل سوبريور سيركشن انكلود مالكن انفيجنز كالكولر ايتروجينيك بورت هيباتس ليجن بيناين تريكشر انفلاماتري اند كونجينيتال ليجنز مالكن انفيجنز انكلود كلانجي كارسينوما بانكرياتيك كارسينوما بيري اندولري كارسينوما هيباتيك كوكال ليجنز جول بلادر كارسينوما اند جاستريك كارسينوما There were high male affection in malignant group, while female more affected in the benign group. And the most affected age group for both benign and malignant lesions was 60 to less than 70 years old. There is a significant difference for the presence of the cachexia towards the malignant group, while for the presence of the fever towards the benign group. Regarding the multi-vector cholangiography uh, finding, uh, there is a high significant uh, difference regarding the presence of mace for a, a malignant group and a significant difference regarding the classification for blind group and a non-significant difference regarding the degree and the level of obstruction for both groups. Uh, regarding the contrast enhancement in multi-vector cholangiography, there is a high significant uh, difference re uh, in arterial phase regarding the malignant group and a significant uh, difference uh, uh, in the portal phase regarding the malignant group and a non-significant difference uh, uh, in the delay phase on both groups. Uh, there was a very good agreement between uh, the multi-vector CT cholangiography and the gold standard technique regarding the site of the pillar of obstruction the uh, cause of the pillar obstruction, as well as in the detecting of the type of the malignant lesion. Diagnostic performance of multi-vector CT conjugacy uh, were done uh, regarding sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, and accuracy. Uh, this is the case of malignant obstructive jaundice due to a pancreatic hip mass. This is the uh, axial uh, 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 pre-contrast and uh, uh, arterial portovenous and delayed phases. Uh, the coronal minimum intrinsic rejection revealed the uh, uh, dilatation of the common bile duct down to its distal end, as well as uh, partial filling defect within the portal vein. So, this is a male malignant obstructive jaundice uh, due to pancreatic hip carcinoma with moderate uh, biliary obstruction and portal vein thrombosis. Another case of situs inverse to tail is showing uh, dilatation of uh, uh, biliary duct with. Uh, uh, a mess at the confluence of the both uh, right and left uh, hepatic duct. Uh, uh, this uh, is a malignant obstructive jaundice due to common hepatic duct confluence, uh, pre hilar cholangio carcinoma, exerting mild uh, biliary obstruction and ascites in versus the uh, This is a case of uh, renal impairment, uh, no intravenous contrast were administrated, and uh, there is a huge uh, gastric mass uh, in the uh, gastric pylorus as well as a solid uh, nodule in the anterior abdominal wall. This mass is seen uh, infiltrating the inferior liver surface and causes a biliary uh, obstruction. So this is a malignant obstructive jaundice caused by the gastric artery carcinoma exerting intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation. Uh, another case of uh, impacted cystic duct stone uh, that compressed the uh, biliary duct externally as well as a, a gold bladder stone with thickening of uh, gallbladder wall and very cholecystic fluid. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, coronal uh, uh, reconstruction revealed uh, the uh, uh, presence of the stone outside the common bile duct and compressing it. So it is a calcular obstructive jaundice due to Meresi syndrome with inductive cystic duct stone exerting uh, biliary dilatation in patients with calcular cholecystitis. Uh, this case underwent ERCD uh, two months ago, and there is a significant new mobilia involving uh, the left loop more than the right loop. The new mobilia is seen uh, extending uh, in the dilated common uh, bile duct down to its distal end, and there is a, a fluid uh, uh, arcistic lesion posterior to the common bile duct with the air fluid level. Uh, this uh, cystic lesion is seen uh, directly related to the third part of the duodenum. Uh, so this is a venal diverticulum. Uh, uh, so this is a benign obstructive jaundice with moderate intrahepatic biliary dilatation and immobilia caused by the venal diverticulum arising from the third part of the venum following iatrogenic ERTB trauma. Uh, a last case of uh, common uh, hepatic duct, uh, common bile duct uh, stent removal two months uh, ago, and there is a retained uh, uh, common. Uh, uh, bile duct uh, stent fragment. So this is a dense uh, fragment surrounded by uh, biliary sludge. 
and there is a retrograde dilatation of the common uh, bile duct and uh, uh, intrahepatic uh, biliary duct. Uh, the small number of the cases, particularly in benign uh, uh, structure group, and the limitation of uh, intravenous control infection and the risk of blood vision uh, and analgesia for young patients were the uh, limitations in our study. In, in conclusion, the multi CT colon geography display a high sensitivity in detection of the cause and the level of the obstruction. It shows important role in cases of malignant obstruction for characterization of the region and differentiating it from benign structure. It is a non-invasive past and a high sensitivity and specificity for diagnosis of benign and malignant causes of filler obstruction. It also considers a promising diagnostic tool and used as an alternative to ARCG or BTC in assessment of patient with bile duct obstruction. These are our references. Thank you for your attention.